Good morning and welcome to Holton's Fix It 101. Today, let's talk routers. Welcome back. Now, as I said in the intro, we're going to be talking routers. There are several different routers that you can go and get. Uh, you can have a fixed base, which is like this, or you can have plunge base, or you this this particular one has a fixed base, and you can also take the motor out and use it in the plunge ba base mechanism. But here in the UK we are more into uh, plunge based routers now I prefer to have uh, a fixed base router because it's so much more adjustable and if you, you're going to use it to do edge mouldings or something like that it stays in position every single time there's no variance in the actual with the post and things like that but that set aside uh, there are several um, obviously a load of makes, people all, there's loads of people that make routers and anyone worth their weight who works in a workshop will know that having a router in your workshop is a must. It is the most useful tool that you can have in your workshop. With, with all the different cutters and uh, you, you can do so much with it. it, it you can make jigs up for them to do other things as well. It, you know there, there's so many things that you can do with a router but that aside let's just take you through some of the different routers that that you have they all come in different um, you know different wattages and they all have different usage um, it is obviously you wouldn't be using this just to do a few little this big one here you wouldn't be using that just to do a little trim on the outside of a, of, of a, of a piece of wood Plus, you wouldn't be using this little router here to go through and, through and plow out a groove or, as the Americans call it, a dado because it just doesn't have the power. But, as I say, you've got you're several varieties of different router here. Uh, this one, this one, start off with this one. Now, this one is, a, um, very, is a, just on a variance of what's actually in my router table. Um, the one, this one obviously is a, is a Draper expert, but the one in my, my router table, and I'll put a link in the description down below um, for the router table series. Um, it's very, very good. Uh, it tells you about the different things that I've done and I've built into my router table. Um, it has exactly the same type of router. Uh, it's 1900 watts and it, it plows through just about anything. If you really want to, you know, do a quite a big um, groove dado, uh, it really will plow through just about anything that you have. Um, the same as what I would if it is in my table. Um, but it's a brilliant, absolutely brilliant router. This particular one, though, uh, when I when I bought it and they sent it to me, which is no big deal. Um, this what this particular one is 110 volt. But it's no big deal. It comes with a nice long lead anyway, so that's a bonus in itself. A lot of uh, machines, and you've heard me tell people about this before, uh, especially on my evolution videos. Um, they told I've been speaking about the the, the, the cords not long enough, and, and it comes with a territory now that a lot of machines now haven't got a lot of, lot of cord on them. Uh, this is another Draper expert. Um, router I bought um, and I, I bought it specifically because it was a, a fixed base router um, now it's brilliant absolutely brilliant um, you know I, I can't fault the thing it, it's it's 1350 watts and you can take the motor out you can put the collets in it and, and then all the all the uh, and the bits and everything else and you can put it back into the router you don't into the bases you don't have to try and fiddle around trying to get the trying to get the uh, the bits in there um, with with all the router you know all the base in and everything around it but it does actually come with the plunge base as you can see here and it also comes with a fixed base that's on here 
Um, I started off with this old JCB. I'm not knocking JCB, but it's probably a clone of, of, of someone else's make or whatever. But it, it, it's a brilliant router, it's 1500 watts. Again, you can see the variance uh, of different uh, wattages between the different uh, routers and stuff like that. It's, a, it's just on the traditional plunge base again. Then I started, then I, then I moved up, up in the world and I went to um, the Triton. Now, the Triton, it, this is the MOF 1400. Uh, it's in the middle of the range of the Triton routers. Um, I got it for a well, I got it for a song actually, but uh, it, it, which was which was quite um, quite good. It comes with all the usual bells and whistles. It can even got a fine height adjuster on the back. You can take the uh, you can take the springs out the top. So if you want to use it in table mode, because it is a dual purpose router, you can use it in table mode if you really want to as well. Um, moving on from that. I wanted something just to trim the edges and things like that. So I ended up with this uh, little trim router. It's not the best thing in the world, but it's not the worst either. Uh, it does come with a fixed base and it also has this little plunge base that I can use as well. But it, it's a brilliant little thing. It's only for little doing little trimming little edges and things like that and, and doing little mouldings on the edge. Not a, not, not a problem. You know, all these routers are variable speed and they're all electronic control. Now, anyone who doesn't know what electronic control actually is, um, if you've got the router set to, say, like a medium sort of uh, RPMs or something like that, it goes under load. The actual electronics in the actual router will pick up the, um, pick up, sense that load and it will pick up the actual, uh, give it a little bit more oomph into the motor so it can go through whatever you're working on. But uh, there, there we are. It's, but you'll also notice uh, with, all, with all my rotors, well, most of them anyway, not except for, the, except for that one particular one there, that uh, they all come, I, I put all you know, plastic bases on them. Now, the reason behind that is because when I'm using, um, using it, or anything like that you'll notice that especially on this one you've only got if you look you just about see it there but you've only got that one little edge there if you was to run up like a, a guide a clamp guide or something like that you only got that one little edge and you could go like that with the router as you're moving along this gives it a much much longer uh, edge to work on and um, what I have actually done with especially with this Triton router, you might not be able to notice it so much, but on there you'll you can just see it through there. There is an X, and there's also an X on the base there. That X, that X is there for two reasons. Um, I put it on there so I know if I take this base off, which way round it's orientated, and not only that, the distance between a cutter that I put in there and this edge is one mil difference than what it is on this edge so if i'm doing a um, a groove or dado i can i'll run along there and i find that the, the the groove that is a little bit too tight i turn the router around and i'll just go straight along the straight along that groove again and it gives me that one mil variance to actually widen that 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 groove up and I don't have to move the, any clamp guides or move, move a straight edge or anything like that. I just turn the router right round and I just go, go straight through it and it takes that one mil out for me. That's what the only, one of the only reasons. This one has this one has exactly the same. It has an X. I'll try and get that on camera for you. It has an X on the uh, acrylic base there and it's exactly the same. Now, Routers, as I said before, are the most useful tool that you can have in a workshop. Now, they do come with all different size collets and they also come with all different size uh, cutters that you can go in there, we call them bits. But, they are, mo the, they are what can I say, they're, they're, they're most useful 
in the fact that you can do anything you can think of bearing in mind you've got to make a jig or something like that in a workshop for it um, the sizes of collets that you can you can get varies as well between different machines because not every machine does every single collet size that you can ever think of um, I like, like, like this big one here will only come in quarter, so, quarter it comes with quarters and it also comes with half inch collets the same goes for the, this, this small one here this one only came with quarter and half inch collets now Triton they, they've made it slightly different you can go online and you can buy all their, their collets separately if you want to or you can go back to the Triton website and you can buy them off of there but they actually do six, quarter, eight, and I think you'll find it's, it's 12 mil and half inch mil, or half inch, um, sorry, uh, collets. They do a big variety of different collets for their machines. They are, they, they, they do a real lot. So, but this one here, uh, the little tiny one, it only comes with a quarter collet and a eight mil collet. So there, there's, you know, it's various between different machines. So I'll wrap it up there and say that, you know, have a router in your workshop because they are so, so brilliant in the, what they do. Um, you know, they're all variable speed, as I said, you know, you, you, you adjust them down to the different um, speeds that you need to use for different um, router bits. Obviously you wouldn't put a huge route a bit in here and have it going at full speed that would just be nuts um, one you'll burn the wood and it's unsafe to actually use it at that speed so you would turn the router down if you had a big big um, bit in there so uh, anyway but um, just to wrap it up this is uh, this is the like I said this is the medium sized router from from Triton now my uh, my son in his wisdom has gone out and he's gone and got Triton's big brother this is the uh, I think it's the TO T T001 or something like that I'm not sure what this what the what one it is but this is 2400 watts it's a beast it really is a beast but it's not hard to use it's a very very easy machine to use it is very very nice to use indeed it has all the same bells and whistles as what the medium sized router does it is a dual based router meaning that it will go in a table and to be honest with you if given the choice this is the one I would have in a table because there's so many things that, that this router has over maybe the others in the in the range so that's what I would I would use if I was to build another router table I probably would put one of those in it anyway for the for the actual usage and I will do be doing a video on both of these routers um, at some point in time uh, so we can get the differences between the two but there's very very little changed apart from the size of the Apart from the size of the uh, the motor that's in there, that's only 1400 watts. Where this one, um, from my son, what my son's just bought, is another thousand watts on top. It, it like I said, it's an absolute beast, and uh, he he's he's used it a couple of times, and he's so so pleased with it. So anyway, I'll wrap it up there. And uh, if you want like to connect with me any any time on uh, social media. I have the usual social media um, uh, websites and everything else, you know, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all that sort of stuff. Um, but uh, if you like the video, please click on that like button and uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, don't forget to click on that bell icon. It seems to be the in thing at the moment to get notifications from when I upload a video. So uh, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.